Rhizoctonia potatoes is a pretty serious disease. It can infect both the stems and the tubers. And today, we're out in our field evaluating different methods of controlling Rhizoctonia so the growers can manage this disease more effectively. So when growers plant into a potato field that's had a short rotation, or that they expect Rhizoctonia will be in the soil, then it's very important to spray a fungicide in the furrow at planting. Now, we put Rhizoctonia in the soil when we planted this seed, and we did not spray anything in furrow here, and these plants are stunted and smaller. Just behind it, we have larger plants, and those did receive a fungicide in furrow. So when growers manage Rhizoctonia, they really have two options from a chemical standpoint. They can spray in furrow, or they can treat the seed. And if they know their seed has, has Rhizoc on it, then a seed treatment would be called for. So in some cases where growers want to get the best Rhizoctonia control, they may combine a seed treatment and an inferral spray. And that will give them the healthiest plants they can get as far as a Rhizoc standpoint. So Rhizoctonia can infect potatoes from one of two sources. One is the soil. Now Rhizoctonia doesn't live in the soil that well. And so when a farmer comes in and plants a different crop behind potatoes, one that's not a host for that strain of Rhizoctonia solani, the Rhizoc tends to die out through time. It can also come into the field on the potato seed piece. And so the Rhizoc can grow on this seed, and then when the grower plants it in the field, the Rhizoc will grow off of the seed onto the stem. So the symptoms of Rhizoctonia are a large canker that grow up and down the stem it turns it into a brownish color, almost looks like it's somewhat striped. It can also clip off the stolon. So in this case, a tuber would develop right there, except the Rhizoctonia fungus has clipped that off and so that tuber won't form, or if it does form, it'll be really small. The end result from this with Rhizoctonia is often you get fewer tubers and they tend to get bigger and they tend to get deformed. And so Rhizoctonia, it can affect yield if it's very severe, like we showed in the plot earlier. But more often than not, it affects quality. This is a case of Rhizoctonia growing on a developing tuber. As this tuber gets bigger and eventually it will be harvested, it will have black dirt. Um, it looks like dirt, but it's actually the fungus. And it won't wash off. We often call it dirt that doesn't wash off. The consumer in the store may look at that tuber and say, I don't want to buy that because of its poor appearance. And so that's another reason that we need to control Rhizoctonia so that we have better looking tubers at the end of the season.